Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video and in today's video We're actually going to be talking about some news around the lack of content in some people's words Or basically the DLC schedule for Black Ops 4 and a lot of people do really like this core game including myself But I really do think and along with I think a lot of members of the community as we'll talk about in this video We want more content into this game especially because you know when this game is I, I don't know if you want to say competing but alongside games games like uh, Fortnite, which are constantly updating with their cosmetics and stuff like that. And of course, Call of Duty is in a complete different section where they sell their game. Uh, you know, Fortnite is a free to play where they have to make their money off cosmetics. But basically, some people were tweeting at David Vonderhaar, who is the Treyarch Studio Design Director. Of course, if you guys have been around the Call of Duty community, you probably know David Vonderhaar from maybe back in the day on Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4. He's been around for a while and people were tweeting him about the frequency of the updates and he basically responded. We're going to cover all of it. My opinions, his opinions everyone's opinions in this video drop a like if you guys could let's go for 1500 likes i would really really appreciate it last video i uh, got up over a thousand likes by the time i woke up so that was absolutely awesome so guys it takes a millisecond hit that like button smash it subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and let's talk about it so basically um vonderhaar was very active on twitter and many people in his mentions have been asking about the frequency of new content being released to black ops 4 and he first replied that season 3 is coming and to stay tuned to different stuff like that so if we'll go to the actual tweet this was on february 8th like a day or two ago um roasters 2 tweets at david vondahar the game itself is good no hate on that front lack of content updates since day one pretty much nothing but bug fixes people buying the bop pretty much got scammed daily paywalled shop gets more updates than anything else not my smartest purchase for a cod game so in this guy's tweet he's really talking about two things directly one the lack of actual updates and whenever you know patch updates come out that most of the time they are bug fixes and then two the BOP which is his black ops pass I'm just assuming um, basically saying that he pretty much got scammed because there's not too much updates on that so that would refer to more maps and different things like that and David Vonderhaar's reply was I hear you season three isn't far away season schedule more aggressive than four DLC drops like the last game we made black ops 3 stay tuned so this was an interesting reply because basically Season 3 isn't far that far away, which Season 3 is essentially going to be the next Contraband stream, which are kind of exciting, but those things really don't, you know, the, the hype around those, especially with the release pattern, where it comes out on PS4 first, and then other people have to wait for it, they're usually not that much hype, except for the first couple days around those, um, so Season 3, hopefully it's going to be good and, and stuff across all game modes, and then as far as this, the, him saying that it's more aggressive schedule than the 4 DLC drops, that's really with the map pack, and I think that nowadays when people are talking about like uploads and downloadable content they're not really referring that much to the map packs i don't know i want you guys to leave in the comment section down below uh in 2019 on black ops 4 how much do you guys care about the, the map packs compared to like dlc weapons or camos or variants because in my opinion the map packs you know back in the day i remember like an mw2 one of the map packs sold like I don't know what it was, like 2 million in the first week or first weekend. Um, one of those crazy map packs. But nowadays, I don't think they're as hype. And I think most people getting these map packs are through the Black Ops Pass, you would assume. And those are people that sort of probably just bought the Black Ops Pass when they bought the game um, to get the most expensive or the best version of the game. So with the, the DLC map drops, yes, that's going to have a more aggressive approach like he's talking about compared to previous times. But I think when we're talking about lack of content, we just want like camos, variants, master crafts operator mods uh you know, new weapons stuff like that integrated into the game because that's sort of what we're expecting and you know it really has changed back in the day compared to black ops 3 which came out in 2015 of course had a really really long life cycle that game was super duper I don't know if you would say ahead of its time, but definitely at least on pace with its time for the DLC. But as far as Black Ops 4, it feels a little ancient compared to these other things like Fortnite, like these other games that we are uh, experiencing that are more a free-to-play model. And we do have to separate the fact that this is not a free-to-play game and it's a paid game. But, you know, even while doing that, it's like, hey, if they're trying to sell cosmetics, we should still hold them to a good standard on cosmetics. But basically, there was another tweet where uh, J-God tweeted basically at Vondahar and he responded saying... The 
The world has changed. We used to do four DLC drops, talking, talking about the map packs, of course. All of us are learning and adapting how to do that with a game like this. We aren't just one mode with one map, and that complicates things. We will figure it out. So, I mean, we aren't just one mode with one map. It's kind of a subtle shot at Fortnite, I guess you would say, because what else is he talking about? But on the same front of that, it's once again talking about the DLC drops, which I really don't think that people really have a problem with the map pack. I think it's more of a problem with the actual content updates and the fact that if we look at games like IW, it, it seems like, call, like, remember in IW when Call of Duty released like hundreds of accessories and hundreds of camos in Infinite Warfare to sort of uh, crowd up the supply drops? It seems like this year, and this is just sort of my take as you could say, it seems like because they're not doing supply drops, they have no need to supply content to crowd it up, uh, you know, to make the, the make you want to buy more supply drops and, you know, try to earn more items and stuff like that, which is you know, totally, totally okay. It's up to you if you want to purchase the items or not, um, especially if they are cosmetic only, which has, you know, they haven't been in previous games, but in this game, it's looking like the stuff that isn't cosmetic only is going to be earnable. Um, but yeah, with the four, the DLC map drops, I don't, I really think that's fine this year. And I don't, I really haven't seen much, too much complaints around that. But I, what I want to talk about for the rest of this video, and what I want you guys to leave in the comment section down below, is what sort of updates do we actually want from Call of Duty? Because we can sit here and talk and see, you know, people People hate on the studio and stuff, but if people aren't communicating and they actually have, you know, uh, Treyarch has been, of course, a super duper strong out of those three developers with Activision, probably the strongest. I mean, we can say the strongest as of right now, especially going off their success on Black Ops 3. And I think what we, we really want, well, I'll say some of it myself, definitely more camos. And I really think that camos should be sold in the shop really often be earnable be you know buy this camo a special order for 200 cob points different stuff like that why not bring back bacon from bo2 bring back some of these really party rock camo these fun camos because if they're bringing back weapons which they've done many times they're bringing back maps why not you know get some of this camo stuff coming back like you did with cherry blossom that was a start but there's so much more to do. There's so much more to expand into that. Same thing with Mastercrafts. There needs to be more Mastercrafts, and there also needs to be the option to put a camo on a Mastercraft variant. I really think that that would be something that once they start to implement more camos, people are going to find that that's going to be an issue. I think that's one thing that they should do. Um, I've thought a bit about operator mods coming in, although, however, those are not cosmetic, so that be, it would be a really touchy subject, something that you would have to make sure you're, you're actually, you know, doing it right and making sure you have the right info and, and not throwing it over overpowered pay to win stuff of course um but yeah definitely camos i mean why don't we have accessories on guns more mastercraft variants different stuff like that we want in the game and of course with these contraband streams there really is um I mean, it feels, it, it does feel like the seasons do last quite a while If for people that either, you know, purchase their contraband stream or are playing on a consistent basis. They're going to earn their way up. And once you earn your way up to like the level 100 or it was 200 in a previous season, it's like the reserves after that are really just straight trash. And I think maybe they could address something with those as well to encourage people to keep grinding instead of like, oh, you hit a wall and now we're just going to throw you BS items. But I really think that's the key. Even with new like gear outfits for the players, those are totally fine. However, when the game is first person, I don't know why they go so heavy into the gear outfits and not so much into camos or different accessories for the guns or cool things like that. I really think that, you know, sticker packs, there's so much stuff that could be done and it's 2019 and I think with, with the content, that's really what we want as fans who are passionate about this game. As far as the DLC map pack, I mean, personally, I don't really pay too much attention to the DLC map pack um, much anymore just because of the fact that, you know, um, they just the community doesn't seem to rally around them like they used to be and the facts are when you do get the map packs you're basically playing against all not all tryhards but a lot more tryhards with the map packs installed than without so that's another reason that people are i think turned off of the map packs the more tryhard and you know which are the players that play the game on a day in and day out basis but basically those are my thoughts on it i know some people like playing with the map pack don't like playing with it but i think we can all agree more content updates and i know they have they're not just one game with one map you know they have blackout zombies and multiplayer but this is Call of Duty. We're talking about the Activision, the top, uh, Treyarch Activision, Call of Duty, the top of the top. These guys have so many people working for them and they have all these different things. And to, to see that we're still waiting on League Play, which is just complete another topic, a video for another topic, um, which should be coming soon, hopefully, um, and different things like that. I, I really want more content in this game. And I think whenever I, I see people's opinions, it seems to always be very similar. The core game is fine. It's cool. It's Black Ops. It's Treyarch. But we want more. It's 2019. It's not like back in the day with MW2 where you can just throw the game out and leave it. You know, nowadays, 
the community, with the social media, with everything. People are talking to these developers or tweeting at them or talking within themselves as a community on Reddit, on Twitter, over here on YouTube, down the comment section of this video. And it really is cool to see. And that's how we can make change towards getting the best for the developers, the community, the owners, everything, you know? And that's, of course, the ultimate goal of, you know, making a game that's really, really fun and fair for us to play that has an awesome amount of content updates, especially if we're paying 60 bucks up front for the game, maybe even more up front for the Battle Pass or Black Ops Pass, and then also for cosmetics. You know, we want to have some really awesome content. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys could drop a like on it, I'd very much appreciate that. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. I know the team over at Treyarch, Treyarch is working hard. I just want to, you know, make sure that of course, everyone wants different things. The Zombies players say, only update Zombies. Blackout players, only update Zombies. You know, people like me want more stuff in multiplayer. So it's all just, it's a community, and it is pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.